Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is a tutorial on how to make Ludwig's Holy Sword. And it's a trick weapon, which means it's got the outer sword and, of course, the inner sword that goes inside. And I give you the template. Link is in the description down below. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and rib blocks, fifteen, rattle boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. So instead of buying a 10 foot sheet of foam, we're going to use these 2 foot by 2 foot squares that I bought at the Home Depot. This is XPS foam and they're 1 inch thick. You can also use this kind of craft foam which is like a styrofoam, 1 inch thick pieces. That's more available to you possibly. It's just a little bit more delicate, you got to be careful with it. So our sword, the outer sheath, is 1 foot wide so cut these into 1 foot wide sections and use a pencil to draw out the point. That's so you get it right. And once you get it right, you can go ahead and mark it so you can see it with a Sharpie or something. Now, there's something very important about this. We need to overlap the layers or else we can't glue the pieces together or put the sword inside. Let me, I'm going to show you what I mean. So cut them, cut them all up any way you can. A regular old hacksaw blade is fine. But here's the important thing, this is what you end up with. And this is in the template, I show you these pieces. We've got three pieces that's five feet long. This, the, the outer sword is five feet long. And then you have a second layer that goes on top. They will be glued together. And notice how the pieces alternate. Otherwise you can't glue it together. I'll show you. There's a seam, there's a seam, and there's a seam. So now let's make the sword. I have the template right here. You print up those pieces, you print up the template, and you cut out those pieces. And then take them together to form the sword like this. And it's a pretty big zweihander, two-handed sword. And then we do the same kind of a process we did with the foam for the outer sword, or the sheath, is we're going to alternate layers because the sword is too big for a sheet of foam board. You can do this up with cardboard too. But let's make one sword here. To use your template to trace a couple of pieces onto the foam board or cardboard and then cut them out. There we go. That is one sword. And then you make two more. We want a triple layer a sword for strength. We end up with three of them like this. And the important thing is that the cut point is alternated. It's in a different spot, just like with the pink foam. I will show you that. See? Now let's put this second one on top and see how the cut is in a different space. And this way we can glue it all together nice and strong. And the third one is in yet at a different space. See, now it's cut way down the bottom of the handle. So that's it. Make those six pieces and glue them all together. Takes a little time. This project is actually a pretty easy project. You can have this massive sword done in no time at all. Maybe one day. Then use a knife to trim everything to make it nice and neat because you've got a, a stack of pieces. They're going to be inconsistencies. And then use some sandpaper to clean it all up. So now, see now the sword is going to be sandwiched between your two layers that you made of foam. But there's a big space for the sword, you can't just glue it in. What we need to do is carve out the space in the foam so the sword will nicely slide in. So mark up your foam layers. 
And this is important, when you mark the second layer, flip it over so everything stays the same, nothing moves. And this way, any inconsistencies in the sword will be transferred to your sheath, the outer sword, and um, it'll still work fine. So now we're going to mark the second layer. So now I'm going to use this carving tool to do a lot of the carving. We're going to carve out that space so the sword slides into it nicely. And we do about half on each layer. See, you go to about halfway. And there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use a rasp. Rasp works pretty good on this too. And use any kind of tools you can use that you have available. Dremel works really nice too. And I use the piece of foam board to check it. It's kind of like a, a gauge to see what I needed to continue to carve. See now it's all carved up, both pieces. See now you can see how that goes. The sword is going to go in between and we glue, when we glue those two layers together, the sword will be able to slide in and out easily of the outer sword or the sheath. And I'm using liquid nails for paneling, wood, and foam molding, foam molding. Some glues will melt foam, so you should test if you're not sure. So now glue everything together. Now the guard, easy enough. This is a um, two inch thick piece of foam. If you don't have it, you can use the one inch pieces that you got and glue a couple together. We just cut out a nice oval and a slot that'll go over the outer sword, the sheath, like this. And glue that on. I like it. Now it's on to the painting. The bevels are like this, so mark those off and then cut them. And if you don't have a hot wire foam cutter, you can do this with a serrated knife. Or you can do it with um, sandpaper even. A regular knife and then sandpaper to make it neat. But there's a bevel along each side of the blade, and it makes a difference in how the sword looks. So put this bevel, if you, if you possibly can. Now the ornament, this outer sword has ornamentation work on it. Have some fun drawing that out with pencil first. So you can get a, a sense for the... the the artwork and how it looks and getting it right and then strengthen them with a, a marker or a sharpie or something. And then go ahead and start carving. Now this is optional, it's a lot of work, the carving. You could just paint those designs on if you wanted with some brown paint and some black and some silver and some red. But I went ahead and carved it, it looks nicer. And then once you get it all carved, uh, paint that inner whole intersection mostly brown with some red added in. And then those bevels are silver. And that's it. We're just about done here. Um, <clears throat> thanks for watching this video. 
I do have other Bloodborne weapons if you want to check those out. And if you make this look, looks good. See the paint job looks really good. If you make this project, what I was going to say is send me a picture. I will send you a certificate of contribution and I'll put the picture on my website. So the sword, the pretty straightforward. The blade is silver. The handle is black. And then some detail work with silver. And that's it. And you can do as much or as little detail work as you want. I think I've done, I've done, what, five Bloodborne weapons? I think I'm going to take a break from Bloodborne. I might even take a break from weapons and start doing some other kinds of projects. I have a whole list of things and a couple of things started. Um, leave me a comment if you want to see something unusual or different. Of course, you probably want to see some more weapons. I, I take those comments too. But I got a few things I want to do. I got, um, well, some interesting stuff coming. But I had fun with the ornamentation. White pencil, Sharpie. Look at pictures of the weapon and then try to copy some of those ideas. This is like silver ornamental work. And that's it. Very big weapon. It's very light because we used foam. And it looks comes out looking good. Let's take a look. The outer sword, the, well, we call it the sheath, and the inner sword. I like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always do all kinds of creative stuff. Lots more stuff coming. 700 videos plus right now. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.